Calgary, Alberta is home to renowned museums full of extraordinary artifacts with secrets just waiting to be discovered. There was a romance to train travel. Each of the cars in here has its own provenance and is important to the history of Canada and railways. If Heritage Park's old train cars could talk beyond their wailing steam whistles and churning locomotive engines, they would tell tales of adventure and intrigue that Canada was built upon. Watch your step as we board the train into a wild past. One of these special train cars helped build the railway through Canadian provinces and traditional Indigenous lands, marking the beginning of a nation. My name is Jim Heaton. I'm a senior interpreter at Heritage Park. I was here opening day in 1964 as a little kid. My family comes from a rail riding background. My grandfather was an engineer in 1903, and my father was an engineer. My uncles were conductors. Everybody in my family except to my generation worked for the railway. Heritage Park is Canada's largest living history museum. We connect visitors to the settlement of Western Canada in an authentic and immersive way. One of the great gems is the railway car shop. It is tucked away into a far back corner, but when you walk in here, this building is full of treasures. Construction car number 76 is just one of those treasures, telling the story of how Canada came to be. In 1871, British Columbia wanted to become part of the country. And the deal was that they wanted a railway built to them. They started on the west and they started on the east. Construction car number 76 is one of our most famous cars here. 5,000 people and 1,400 horse teams out of that car. It was like a traveling city at the end, end, of the, end of the town. It was used to build the railway through from Winnipeg through to Calgary in 1882 and 83. It's just a fantastic car to walk through and see the opulence. Everything is so opulent, the velvets and the draperies. Now that was used as an office car as well as where they slept. When you see the manifest for the food on there, they ate like kings and queens. There's lobster and scampi and filet mignon. It was like a fine dining room. When the railway reached Calgary in 1883, car 76 continued on into the Rockies, the most challenging part of the construction. In 1885, the last spike was driven at Kregaliki in British Columbia. Car number 76 was actually at the last spike. It came here, picked up more dignitaries, and it went back, including all of their families. And we have a lovely picture of all of them standing on the back of the train at the site. With the final pound of a hammer, the last spike completed the Canadian Pacific Railway, bringing European colonists to settle in the West. Thanks to train cars like old number 76, Canada was united from coast to coast. This is a city of mavericks and entrepreneurs and really spirited, powerful people who came out here with nothing and have built it up to this amazing place that it is today. And I think this is the best place that we can tell the story of Western Canada. We all hear the train whistles go by. We, we hear them in the park. You feel the rumble of the trains going by, but to actually get on the cars and experience what it was like, just a nostalgia and a, a sense of history to them all that can't be found anywhere else. Connect to the past and the rails that united a nation at Calgary's Heritage Park.